ANSYS ICM CFD is a complete and stand-alone pre-processing tool for CFD. The complete word implies that it does all the operations including geometry creation, grid generation, boundary tagging as well as export grid to various solvers. The standalone word implies that it does not rely on any other software inputs for the process to start or end. There are certain softwares like ANSYS T grid which needs surface mesh as an input. The typical task in ICM CFD involves geometry related activities, mesh related activities, boundary taggings and grid export. The geometry activity includes both import and repair or geometry creation within ICM CFD. Meshing activity includes creating the mesh using various meshing techniques available in ICM CFD. It also includes either automatic or manual repair of generated grid. The boundary tagging is also done within ICM CFD for easy solution setup. The grid is then exported in various solver formats. So to summarize, activities in ICM CFD involves geometry creation, mesh generation, boundary taggings and mesh export. Let's have a look at all these activities in detail. The first task in ICM CFD is geometry creation which defines the shape and size of the domain. Most of the industrial problem involves complex geometries which are either impossible to generate in ICM CFD or consumes lot of time. So the general practice is to use standard CAD softwares to generate the CAD model. In such cases, depending on the format of a CAD data available, various functions of ICM CFD are used. If the model is available in faceted or triangulated format, using faceted data reader, the data can be imported in ICM CFD. There are various geometry and CAD readers or translators which can import the geometry present in neutral file formats like IGS or STEP. In most of the cases, translation operation causes data loss and asks for CAD repair before meshing. Along with above methods, it is always possible to use direct CAD interfaces to input the geometry in ICM CFD. In case of simple geometry, ICM CFD geometry modeling capabilities can be utilized to create the model. Various geometry functions available in ICM CFD can also be used for geometry repair in case if it is imported from outside. This is the overall geometry operation done in ICM CFD. We'll get into the details of every operation during our geometry creation lecture. Once the geometry is finalized, it is followed by mesh generation process. Let's have a look at the overall task involved in mesh generation. All the grid generation methods available in ICM CFD are divided into two main categories called patch conformal methods and patch independent methods. We'll get into the details of these methods later in the course, but at this point of time, you can imagine that patch conformal method treats every surface as a patch and creates a grid on its boundary and then on the patch or the surface. In case of a patch independent meshing, more than one surface can be combined in a patch simply by removing in between boundary curve. The, this greatly simplifies the complicated CAD model for meshing. As mentioned before, all three methods namely Cartesian based method, unstructured method and structured multi-block multi methods are available in ICM CFD. Using all these methods, a grid is generated and if necessary is followed by a mesh repair operation. In case if quality of grid is not good, we can use various mesh edit tools available in ICM CFD. Few of the tools are automatic and few requires manual work. Edit mesh tools are mainly used in a case when unstructured grid generation methods are used. In case of a multi-block structured meshing, the quality of grid is mainly improved at pre-processing level by modifying the block topology or vertex alignment. Edit Mesh also provides other tools like generating the conformal interface between two mesh domains, extruding the boundary mesh in specified direction, transforming or aligning the mesh and quality checks. So overall mesh edit operations are used to improve the quality of a grid. Once the correct mesh is generated, it needs to be written in a format understood by a selected CFD solver. The task involves selection of a solver, assigning the boundary types and exporting the mesh. The available boundary types and mesh format depends on selected solver. So this is the process overview of different activities done in ICM CFD. UI of ICM CFD is divided into six components. The first component is a main menu located at the top of the UI. 
it has file edit view info and settings menu it also has a help menu which gives access to various help manuals we'll look at all these menus in detail later in the lecture